Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Back on the mic, it's your boy, guess who? Bars. All right, so before we start this video, number one, I'm under weather today and I don't feel like making this, but I gotta do it because the show must go on. Number two, I tried to record this voiceover a good 10 times now and it keeps messing up every time. So this is the last time I'm attempting it. Whatever happens, happens, dog. Let's do this, John, bro. So, this is a six month later review of my off white Jordan 1s. I paid retail for these for my plug, got them in hand, sat on them for about two years until late 19, late 2019, that is, when I finally broke them out of the box and decided to start wearing them. That was about six months ago. These have seen six months of wear in a rotation of 19 shoes. Now, I know what you're thinking. Cam, that's a lot of shoes. They can't have been worn out that bad. You're right. It is a lot and they weren't worn out, but it's still a decent rotation and I'm not wearing them every now and then. I'm wearing them on a consistent basis, which is what this video is meant to show you. How off-white ones react once worn consistently for a certain period of time because they cost a lot compared to what you actually get out of them. So that's what we're trying to determine right now because no one's made a video like this yet. I use no crep protect. I use no waterproofer. And I have not cleaned these since I took them out of a box and started wearing them. Here's a disclaimer. If you want an off-white Jordan 1, you must know. If you're looking for a durable tank Jordan 1 that can take all kinds of a beating and keep moving, this is not the shoe for you. I repeat, this is not the shoe for you. If you have five pairs of shoes, this is not the shoe for you. Do not buy this shoe. This shoe is meant for one or two things. One of three things, actually. You never wear them at all and put them in a glass case, wear them on special occasions, or you wear them in a rotation with, a, with an abundant amount of other shoes to keep a beat to wear off of them, which is what I did. Personally, these shoes are meant to be beat as far as I'm concerned. In my opinion, they were designed in a way that made you want to wear them and beat them. That's what you're meant to do I don't care what anybody else on the net says. Y'all can at me on that. I caught mine for retail. Would I recommend you cop these for resale? Hell to the nah, nah, nah. Oh, nah, nah, nah. No, these shoes are barely worth the retail price tag, bro. To be honest, I definitely wouldn't say pay resale for them. It, it all depends on how much you like Jordan 1s. If you're doing it because you want off-white and you're a hype beast, don't do it. If you like Jordan 1s, you have an appreciation for their art form and what they are as a symbol. Yeah, I say copy, which is why I did. Personally, I couldn't stand the fucking Chicago colorway at all. Like, I would not rock a regular pair of Chicago ones. Call me a hype beast. I'm not, but you can say whatever you want to say. At the end of the day, these stand for something. Overall, it's in pretty great condition considering everything has been through. Lever is impeccable. It's perfect. It's clean. No stains, no dirt, no scuffs, no nothing. I haven't even touched this with a brush or some soap since I took them out of the box. As you can see here, the toe box though is where you run into problems. But toe box is untreated. And since it's so raw, it stains easy, it's impossible to clean, and it also rips up the more you wear them. So, staining. I wore the, first thing I wore these, I wore them to school not knowing it was gonna rain. Stepped out my Mustang, hopped in a huge ass puddle, yo. Toe box was soaked, started turning brown low key. It turned back white again later after it dried, but that just showed me right there, doesn't react to water well. Once again, get your toe wet in these, your socks are soaked, my G. I had to learn that one the hard way too. So we're not like typical mesh shoes. This is really raw. You're, you will get soaked in these. It's not like regular fly knit or mesh or anything like that. And if you try to clean the dirt off a toe box with a brush and soap and water, the dye from the lever bleeds onto the toe box and therefore stains it. I haven't ran into this problem yet because I knew better and looked it up and I'm not cleaning these anytime soon, so I'm not worried about that part. But this is an issue that was fixed of a UNC and a white version of, of off-white ones in the future. Here's a final verdict, guys. If you want a pair of off-white ones and you're not dead set on getting the Chicago colorway and you have an abundant amount of money to waste on a pair of fucking shoes, buy the UNCs or buy the all-whites. It's a better investment and it lasts way longer than the Chicago's ever will just off of design alone. Now for me, if you want the OGs and you care about Jordan 1 history, I cop the Chicago's. If you take care of them enough and wear them right 
and it's wearing how they're meant to be worn. The way they age doesn't matter, guys. At the end of the day, it's just a fucking shoe. I don't care. I'm beating these to the end. And maybe once they're all toast, put them in a glass case or sell them on eBay for 400 bucks. Who knows what's going to happen? And the clips you're about to see are the shoes after six months of me wearing them. I'm not faking. I'm not clickbaiting you. This is really after six months of wear. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next week. When I got no time for the fuck with the five won't sit in my sins. Say don't give me no friends. I got this wrong, I'm gonna sit in them yeah. Don't give me no friends. Yeah, chilling with my little man's though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thinking with it on my fans, girl. Yeah. yeah. Got me tripping now on dance stuff. You ain't confident enough to hit the dance floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Coke bottle in my hands, yeah. 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 I ain't fucking with them cans, yeah. 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 You be sipping on that damn stale like yo, your fucking tea comes more than my bands though. Why you hype? Why you with it? Why you think you fucking with it? You all hype, ain't original, just wear fitted. Why you got that Susie on your brain, but you ain't thinking with it? Hey yo, chill, this that I don't care who fucking did it. I be nine five laid up with chillin' with the girl, she forgot to make up kid. Like me that shit at home, cause I ain't with the fuck shit. Yo, my little brother wildin' cause he rockin' truck fit. Then my sister got some booty shots up in the function. Rest in peace to Drake because I really loved him. He was on his own, shit, that's why I trust him. We ain't worried about nothing and yo, we really just win And my homeboy got stabbed And my girl too, she killing them She be in the daylight, lights out I be fresh because I'm nice now Think about the day where I don't worry about the price now yeah, got me like, whoa, give me dough, give me dough My fans don't love me anymore I be whoa, getting dough, getting dough I think they don't be fucking with my flow Got me whoa, I'm really whoa, really whoa I think they don't love me anymore But my bro, getting dough, getting dough and that's just how the day go mm. With the pen I get Picasso Yeah, I ride slow, they don't give me props though They don't give me iPhone play